Hello everyone, my name is Christy Feifelski and you are participating in a free webinar by Digital Gov Group. This is called Hootsuite for Government. This webinar is only 30 minutes long, just enough time to fit in your busy schedules. So there won't be any Q&A from the audience for this webinar because it's so short. So make sure and turn off or mute those microphones, you won't need them. The hashtag, if you are following along and tweeting about this on Twitter, is DGGWebinar. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Luke Stowe. Uh, Luke is a web application developer for Lake County, Illinois government. He has a passion for local government with over 10 years of service. Now, Luke has advised and trained clients in areas such as web development, social media, and more. For those of you who know me, I am a big supporter of the National Association of Government Webmasters, and Luke actually serves on the Member Benefits Committee of NAGWA, and I'm very excited to have him uh, presenting a digital gov group webinar for us today. So uh, go ahead, Luke, I'll give you the controls. Thank you, Christy, I really appreciate it. Um, many of you on the call know Christy already, but for those that don't, uh, Christy's considered a, a thought leader in our industry, and uh, a lot of us look to Christy for guidance. And so it's a privilege and honor to, uh, to be presenting with her group today. We've got quite a bit to cover with Hootsuite uh, for Government, and uh, we'll go ahead and jump right into it. And um, I hope you enjoy it, and let's get started. As Christy mentioned, uh, the hashtag is DGGWebinar. Uh, so why Hootsuite? Uh, why, why are we doing this uh, webinar at this time? Uh, some of you might be familiar with the tool CoTweet, uh, which last week uh, they decided to drop their free plan. And there are some other alternatives out there. Uh, I've experimented with some of them, Sprout Social, TweetDeck, Seismic. And I personally think that Hootsuite, uh, of the other options out there, is, is, is the, best, the best product, in my opinion. Uh, I've been using it for almost uh, three years now, um, kind of since the beginning days uh, when they started up the company. And Hootsuite allows you the ability to manage all of your networks from one place. And I put a little asterisk on there on the uh, PowerPoint. Uh, as many of you know, Google Plus has uh, grown significantly. I think the last count is there are over 90 million users at this point. And Google Plus is not supported in the free or pro plan. The pro plan is a $6 a month plan at this time. They are supporting it for the enterprise plan and there's hope that eventually they will add Google Plus support to the other plans. Uh, Hootsuite also saves um, lots of time in my opinion from a government perspective. That's one of the key reasons why people are um, some of the major stakeholders, chief deputies, department heads and so forth. That's one of the first things they ask, well how much time are you going to spend doing this? And so one of the great things about Hootsuite is it prevents you from having to log into Twitter, log into Facebook, and log into LinkedIn and so forth. And you can manage uh, all your accounts from one dashboard, which we'll see here in a minute. It's very affordable. They use a freemium model. Uh, there's an intro plan that is very adequate for many government agencies. Um, that's the free plan. There's also a six dollar a month plan that adds some additional features, which we'll talk about a little bit. Uh, I would always recommend people to start with the free plan and then upgrade to this, the six dollar plan uh, if they need the additional options. And then Hootsuite's always constantly improving the product. Sometimes uh, <laughs> it can be a little frustrating because you learn it and then uh, a couple months later they come out with all these changes. But it, it's really been great because they um, are constantly pushing the envelope to make it the best possible product. So let's talk about uh, from a corporate perspective, who's using Hootsuite? Uh, some of the major uh, brands that you might be familiar with, the MBA, PepsiCo, Gap, uh, Mashable, which is the premier social media blog. Uh, so I think that lends a lot of credibility to Hootsuite that by some of those brands that are using it. Time Magazine, I, I included this picture in particular because it happens to be uh, one of my fraternity brothers that's on the cover of Time Magazine. And when he found out that I was doing this Hootsuite webinar, he sent me a note saying, and you can see the quote down there, that we absolutely relied on Hootsuite in Afghanistan. It was a great tool. And so he did multiple tours in Afghanistan. I thought that was interesting to hear that he was uh, using uh, Hootsuite over there. And Time Magazine happens to be uh, also one of the companies that uses Hootsuite. Hootsuite use in government is, is it's very prevalent. Uh, these are just some of the um, agencies that I uh, decided to include in the presentation. Uh, White House obviously being one of the big ones, NASA, Smithsonian. Um, on the more local level, you've got the city of Chicago, the state of Massachusetts. The state of Massachusetts, in my opinion, has been one of the leaders from a state 
perspective in social media, so I was impressed that they were using Hootsuite. And also uh, the U.S. Army, which we'll talk about here in a second. Um, the U.S. Army uh, has really been a leader in social media, and I think they do a terrific job. They have over a million Facebook fans and likes, uh, over 100,000 Twitter followers. They even are, are on Pinterest now, and they're very popular there. And I read an article just a few days ago on Read Write Web, and I included a link to that below here, um, about how they are doing it. And they use Hootsuite, and they have a very lean staff. They only have five people uh, dedicated to social media, which is actually a fairly small group considering the size of the U.S. Army and the extent to which they're involved in social media and they kind of pride themselves in the fact that they're doing it uh, from a lean perspective and uh, a cost-effective standpoint. They also use humor very effectively and Christy has touched on this in some of her presentations that it's okay to be a little bit light even with the US Army with the type of mission that they have and the seriousness of it uh, they use humor. You can see uh, there's a picture of a camouflage couch and if you look very closely uh, there's actually somebody uh, on the couch, and so this was on. This is actually on their Pinterest, and so they're just trying to uh, to use a little humor in their social media outreach. So here is the Hootsuite dashboard. Um, just briefly, we'll uh, touch on some of this a little more detail. On the left-hand side here, you have your menu options. Up here is the actual uh, message box where you would type your status updates. Across the top here are different tabs, which we'll talk about, and within those tabs. Uh, this one is BGCLC. It's the Boys and Girls Club of Lake County. It's a nonprofit, so they have a lot of similarities with government agencies. I've worked with them. You can see the, the individual columns here are their streams. And then up here is a search Twitter box. It's, it's a really quick access to being able to do a search in Twitter. Just like if you were at search.twitter.com, you can search um, for handles or for hashtags or terms. And it'll give you an instant search, and then you can save that search as a stream, which we'll talk about a little bit. There's a slider here that you can use to expand from one stream up to four streams. If you want to see uh, a wider screen or a wider shot of a particular stream, you can do that. So once you um, sign up for a Hootsuite account, you uh, create a username and a password, and then you start adding your social networks. So you go to the settings button on the left-hand side, you click or uh, you hover over social networks, and then you click add social network and you authenticate your accounts. Now you do have to have access or, uh, to the username and passwords, of course, uh, for the Twitter and Facebook, LinkedIn accounts. They do support Foursquare um, and other social networks, and hopefully, like I said, uh, they'll add Google Plus in the future. Personal versus professional, I think this is one of the advantages to Hootsuite, is when I was uh, managing social media for the Lake County Clerk's Office, I now have a, a new position in the county IT department, but when I was managing the county clerk's office, um, I wanted to keep the personal and professional separate, and so Hootsuite allows you to do that. You can set up different tabs for different networks. So I might have a tab for the uh, County Clerk Facebook page and then have my own tab for my own personal Facebook page, and that way it helps keep things organized and separate. Um, the login and account is unique to you, so you don't have to worry about other people being able to view your social networks, and also allows posting from either professional or personal, wherever you are on the go. If you're at home, if you're on your iPhone or Android device or you're at work, it gives you that flexibility as long as you have access to the Internet. And then finally, the, there is a free plan, as we mentioned, and that allows you to have up to five social networks. So if you've got two personal and three work, then that works great. If you need more than five, then you can upgrade to the pro plan. Hootsuite tabs. So these are those tabs that I was talking about, and you each every time you create a social network. So let's say you create, um, let's say you work for the highway department, and you add your uh, Facebook highway department. That will automatically create a tab for you, which is typically how people organize their tabs. Uh, there's different ways to do it, but uh, that's that's the most common way. And think of those tabs as just a way to kind of organize those streams of information. A separate tab, like I said, for the different accounts. And you can even create topic-centric tabs, meaning uh, maybe you follow Gov2O or eGov or OpenGov um, and those types of topics and hashtags on Twitter. You can set up an individual tab uh, to, to follow those, um, those streams of uh, news feeds. Tabs can also be uh, added, deleted, and moved very easily, so it makes it really convenient. Now let's talk about the streams. So once you have the tab, then you have multiple streams within those tabs. You can also, I came up with the word sub-tab if you want to think of it that way. The Hootsuite University, they talk a little bit about a social network being a river, and 
know, the Facebook and Twitter accounts being individual rivers. And think of breaking those rivers into separate streams. And those streams would be the, your home feed, which would be uh, a news feed of all the people, like, like say you follow on Twitter, or uh, a stream of all the mentions. So every time that you were mentioned on Twitter, your Twitter handle is mentioned, then you would have a stream of that. Same thing for direct messages, sent messages, and so on. There's all kinds of options uh, for those streams. There's an example for the mention. So every time uh, my Twitter handle is mentioned, that uh, appears in, in my particular stream for that and under my Twitter account. Here's uh, how you would add a stream. So you can see some of the tabs. If you're under the BGCLC tab in this case here, uh, you would just simply click here, Add Stream. Then you'd select the type of social network under the Stream tab. Then you would select your profile. So in this case, I've got two Twitter accounts, the BGCLC and my personal Twitter account. I would select which one. And then you can select uh, whether it's mentions or retweets or whatever the case may be. Uh, you can select that and create a new stream. And, and even if there's more than four streams, you can simply scroll to the right um, so you can view all of your uh, streams for that account. The message box, which is located in the upper left um, corner of the dashboard, is where you would actually type your Facebook status update or your tweet uh, or your update for LinkedIn, for example. So you would type up in this area here and you would select your profiles, which is one of the great things about Hootsuite is that if you want to use the same status update for Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, you can simply click, or click all three of those accounts and then uh, hit send now and it will uh, immediately send those uh, updates to those three accounts. Now, Within the Hootsuite dashboard, it also allows you the ability to correspond uh, with your followers. And you can reply, you can retweet, you can do direct messages, all from within Hootsuite. So here's an example of uh, the Boys and Girls Club. They were mentioned in this, by this particular user. And you can hover over this uh, status update, this tweet, and you have different options. You can reply, you can retweet, you can send a direct message all within the box here. And so in this case, if we select reply, then down below here you would see that it automatically inserts the Twitter handle of the person you're replying to. You can type your message and click send now. And then you would also, I think automatically it would select the, the correct social network since you were replying from that account. Threaded conversations, another great advantage of Hootsuite is the ability to quickly see a threaded conversation. So in this case, I was corresponding with um, someone I had met at an event. You can click Show Conversation, and that shows you the timeline of the interaction between you and that user. Scheduling status updates. Hootsuite has a really nice feature, um, and this was actually the reason I started using Hootsuite originally, because I wanted the ability to be able to store tweets uh, or Facebook status updates and then spread them out over a longer period of time. Perhaps I was going to be out of the office for a couple of days and I could schedule these updates in advance and they would go automatically without my involvement or without having to train somebody or bring someone else up to speed. So in this case, like before, you would type in your message up here. I uh, noticed I used a hashtag there and you clicked scheduling and then you select the date and the time. You can even uh, check this box if you want to email uh, receive an email when the message is sent, and then you click Schedule, and it'll automatically schedule that status update. And again, you can select the different social networks, too, you want that to go out to. And if it's uh, tomorrow or if it's later tonight uh, or tomorrow morning or a month from now, um, it can handle that. And it can handle multiple uh, scheduled updates.